Hey guys, it's Krista. So today I'm going to be showing you three different Instagram inspired natural hairstyles that are super easy and perfect for when you're having a bad hair day. Um, I haven't worn my hair scarf in about two days and I woke up this morning and my hair and my life were a hot mess. Um, so I decided I could probably at least fix one of those things. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out new videos every single day and let's just get right into it. Okay, so my hair started out looking a hot, hot mess. So let's go ahead and do something to it. Okay, so first I'm going to start by parting out a small section in the front of my hair. I want to say they're about two inch, uh, like two inches by one inch thick about roughly. I'm not sure, but just a small section because um, we're gonna use this to create like the cute little detail in the front. And this is what really, this is what is really gonna give it that um, like Instagram inspired feel to the look. Um, this type of look has been super popular all over the interwebs. Um, so having cute hair doesn't have to be like difficult or hard and I really like these hairstyles because it just makes it look really really cute without having to do a ton of work. So I just spritzed it with my aloe vera and I'm parting it into two sections because we're going to have one little twist on each side. So I'm just going to go ahead and finger detangle it a little bit so there's not any knots and then I'm going to twist it just like a regular two strand twist. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side also. So next I'm going to take some of these cute gold like braid decal type of things. I'm just going to clip them onto the twist um, and this just looks super cute and like super like super tropically. I don't know. I get like a tropical vibe when I see these or when I see anybody wearing them. I'm mean, going to absolutely love them and it just helps jazz up your hairstyle so it just looks like you did like a little bit extra. Um, so next I'm going to go ahead and spritz all of the rest of my nonsense with aloe vera to help make it more manageable. And I'm just pulling down the back because the back part's going to be down. And so I'm going to go ahead and make a part down the middle and make sure it's lined up. And then I'm going to go ahead and part off the front section. Now this part I'm not worried about as much because you won't really see it. Um, so you just want to part out the front section because we're going to put it into two little buns. And I'm just spritzing more aloe vera on it. And if you're the type of person that likes to slick down your edges, definitely go ahead and do that. And I just put the front part into a bun. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. I just used a regular ponytail holder and just put it into a regular bun. Nothing fancy, nothing too difficult. So again, I'm just parting out the front on this side and I'm going to take it and put it into a bun. And I always like to part out the sides, but I ended up not keeping those. So I just take a regular ponytail holder and I'm going to wrap it around three times, I think. I'm gonna do it pretty tight because I want to stay in place, but again, how big or how loose your buns are is totally up to you. And then to put my hair in the actual bun, what I do is I just take it and I twist it. And then I just wrap it around. And then I'm just gonna take another ponytail holder and put it over that to keep it in place. You can use pins, but I feel like just using another ponytail holder is the easiest. And when you have like little random parts sticking out, just go ahead and take them and then shove them underneath your ponytail holder. So I have the little side parts out, but I didn't really like them. So as you see, I'm just going to wrap them up into my bun because they were not cooperating. 
And then you just sort of fluff out the back until it looks how you want to look and you got this super cute and easy hairstyle at, that came from my hair looking a hot hot mess about five minutes prior. Okay so for our next hairstyle we're going to go ahead and take down our buns and we're going to actually put it into one giant bun. I love hairstyles like this because they're so versatile and they give you a lot of options. So you have the same core hairstyle, but you can do little changes and actually have a different looking hairstyle for like three different days. So I'm just going to make a bun the exact same way I did for the mini bun, but this time I'm only going to wrap it around two times. And I'm going to do this one like a typical messy bun, so I'm going to wrap it around once. And then the second time I wrap it around, I'm just not going to pull my hair all the way through. And then there you go. And then. <laughs> All that little extra stuff on the side, you can either use a bobby pin to hold that down, but again, I just use another ponytail holder because I think it's the easiest way. And I got a piece of hair in my mouth, which is really gross. All right, and then you have another super cute and easy hairstyle. Okay, and for our last hairstyle, we're gonna do the one you saw me have in the intro, which is like a faux hawk, which I thought I was gonna do something about, like with that thing, but I decided against it. Um, but we're just gonna do a faux hawk. And if your ponytail holder gets stuck in your hair, just be careful and it'll slide out. Okay, Krista, stop singing and do your hair. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a lot of bobby pins and just pin your hair into place. And the trick with this is actually pin it higher than where you want it to start because when your hair falls over the sides, it's actually going to look lower than where you want. So if you pin it up a little higher than where you want it to start, um, then it'll end up looking better. And you'll see what I mean when I do the other side. So I had to go back to this side and actually add some pins higher up so it would be where I wanted it to be. And then of course you just sort of mess around with your hair until you get it to look the way you want it to look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out new videos every single day. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.